Hey there! A couple of months ago, I created a fun video showing you how to troubleshoot wireless networks using this free tool called NetSpot. Well, it actually did really well. And the owners of NetSpot reached out to me and they were like, that was awesome. Can you record another video like that that shows people how to do a site survey using NetSpot? And I said, well, can I get a free license? And they were like, yeah. And I said, well, yeah. So now I give to you, ladies and gentlemen, the full version of NetSpot that unlocks this survey tab and allows me to create a wireless site survey. I'm actually going to take you with me. I got to drive over to my office at VIA because I want to do it in an office environment and show you what that looks like, right? But before I do, you might be wondering, because a few years back, I created a video showing you how to do a wireless site survey using Ekahow. And you're probably thinking, so are you saying use NetSpot now? I'm saying they address two totally different markets. Ekahow is like the enterprise name when it comes to wireless site survey. You have to order the equipment and strap it on and you know walk through the office. You measure everything with the RF spectrum and all that, right? It's awesome, but it's a lot. NetSpot is kind of, I look at it as like, this is everybody's wireless site survey. It's like one one hundredth of the, the cost of Ekahow. It's not a subscription. It's a one-time purchase, right? It uses your existing laptop, uh, and the same laptop that you would be using in the office environment. And this video is going to give you all the training that you need to do it. It's that simple, right? So, so here's how you get started. I, I'm now going to go to this project. I'm going to go over to my office at VIA. So we'll just name the project VIA. Uh, number one challenge people have when creating a wireless site survey is getting a good floor plan. My friends, this is a good floor plan. Why? Because it's awesome and it's got a scale. Hang on, I'm going to zoom in a little on it. You see this scaling right here? You need that for your wireless survey. And matter of fact, that's what this first screen is having me do. It's like, okay, this yellow bar right here, which I'm, I'm dragging around a little bit, this yellow bar represents the scale of the map. You can either do it using this line or you can do a square footage and draw a box, right? Um, but this is where I'll go in and I'll like this. I can see this says 27.3 feet. So I'm going to put this little yellow line above that. And, and just so you know, those yellow, or sorry, the green lines, those are on the floor plan. Like the, the building architect did those for us, right? So I'm going to put that in there and do 27.3 and boom. I don't know if you could tell, right across the top, it rescaled the whole map based on that, right? Um, I also want to make sure I mention uh, before I drive over to the office, this is the door to our office. It's a shared office space with another tenant. This, er, 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 er. That's the VIA office, right? So I'm going to be going through, it's, it's a significant size, but it's not going to be this whole floor plan. And that whole floor plan would take me hours to do. Wireless site surveys take time because we have to measure each one of those things. Okay, okay, hang on. I'm going to go drive in just a second. I'm going to hit continue because it's going to ask me now, let me, let me get my uh, handwriting off of there. It's saying, what data points do you want to measure in this? I've got tiny, small, medium, and so on. And it's already telling me based on the square footage that I've drawn out here, how many data points this is going to give me and where they recommend these. You can see large, this is for an outdoor urban area, right? Tiny is for enclosed office space or apartments. I'm going to go with small. This will give me many small measurements. And it's saying this is going to take about 132 data points if I was going to do this whole floor plan. But in my case, I'm going to do a much smaller version because it's just going to be via, right? It also gives me the option right here for active scanning that measures the upload and download speed as you do each one of these measurements. That's cool. If you really want to show people, here's the performance that you can expect at each one of these. Uh, however, it does increase the time it takes for each one of the measurements. So it's going to significantly increase your overhead in doing that. So I'm going to keep that off for now. Um, so I'm going to hit start scan and then I'm going to jump in the car, head over to the VIA office and we'll go from there. Welcome to my office. This is going to be where we start our measurements because it's the quietest room. So I'm going to come on over to my laptop. It's got NetSpot running. Now, just to give you some bearings on the screen, this is my office uh, in, the, in the bigger picture of things. So I'm standing right over here by the desk. I'm going to click right on the screen and it automatically begins its first measurement. Now, you can see the little white line on the top tracking. It's going through and measuring all the different wireless signals that it can grab. Each one of these measurements takes about 40 seconds. So when you're looking at an office of this size, 
It's gonna take some time. You wanna block off some time. To, to survey a large building, it's not uncommon for it to take all day as you're taking measurement, measurement, measurement. I recommend, first off, bringing something to do as you're measuring each one of these things. Have your phone, you can browse social media or you can just work on something on the side as you click it. Now, boom, just like that, you can see I've got my first measurement there on the screen. I'm gonna to move to the other side of the room which is right over here. I usually try to find a spot where I would typically be using this, which this couch is obviously a spot I do all the time. So I'll put it down. I'm gonna click the button. It's right about here by the window. Beep. Second measurement is beginning. Now you can see right on the screen, the little dot, 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 dotted lines going across, right? Um, that's representing uh, the path that I followed. It's always recommended that you follow kind of a zigzag path as you're going through and doing the measurements so you can get the proper overlap and coverage uh, that's being measured on each one of these things. Ta-da, second measurement is done. All right, now we're out on the main floor and we're just gonna go bit by bit. Quick thought I'm having as I'm measuring this little snack bar slash break area. Uh, is this something you wanna do during the day when people are here or do you wanna do it when everybody has left the office? Um, best bet is to do it during the day when people are here. <laughs> not like I'm doing right now. It's just, you're not normally recording uh, videos while you're, you're doing your site survey as well. Um, because when people are here, it changes the dynamic a little bit. They may be bringing devices that are gone when you're doing the surveys. Just the people roaming around, doors being open, doors being closed, all those things can affect your measurements. So best bet is to do it while you're doing your normal routine business. One of the things I always find tricky is figuring out where exactly on the map am I, especially in these big open floor plans like we are right here. I'm like, well, I was over there when I was at the couches, so I'm about right here. It's tricky. Remember, you don't have to measure the whole floor plan if you don't want to. You can just focus on a specific problem areas. Bathrooms need Wi-Fi too, probably even more than the desk space. Yeah, you know this measurement is totally a shameless plug. And done. And wasn't that awesome? Do you understand what I mean now when I say NetSpot is everyone's wireless scanner? It's just, Okay, there's my map. I'm walking through, click, click, click. So now let's look at the results. I brought them back here to the studio. Uh, there, it's, this is the VIA survey that we just did. I'm gonna double click it and it opens up to blah, the wireless spectrum. Let me zoom in a little bit. There we go, move my head out of the way as well. Now you can see over on the left-hand side of this, uh, what NetSpot does is break this into the different SSIDs that it found. Now. It's smart enough to realize there's a ton of wireless networks that are going to exist in this environment. And you're probably interested in the ones that have at least a decent signal level. So it's going to check the ones that it believes you're interested in out of the box. Now, I can tell you just because I know this network, all this gray area that I didn't survey is a company called BDG. So I'm gonna uncheck them because I don't really care about them unless they're causing interference. I'm gonna shrink all these guys down. The ones that I'm interested in is anything that has the word VIA in front of it. Those are our SSIDs. And if I expand it, I can see all of the MAC addresses of the wireless access points that are supporting those SSIDs. So we have probably, if I were to guesstimate, about 10 wireless access points in our environment that is doing this. And you see what's happening? Look at this. As I run my mouse over this, this area, it's telling me the signal level of each one of those wireless access points. If I, if I wanna see it on the screen, like, hey, what's going on in the men's bathroom? I can click it and I can see, here's the different levels that we're going to get. Now, what the, the, the gauge that I'll usually use, and, and actually, hey, let's, let's adjust the scale real quick. You can see down here is the color code. I will say, if you are going below about 70 dB on your signal level, yeah, you're not 
you, that's not a signal that you are gonna wanna work with. That's gonna be like, it's barely operational. And if you have a signal level of negative 10, you are a wireless access point. That's like standing on the moon in a vacuum. Uh, so in reality, probably about negative 30 is about, about the best you can get if you're literally standing right next to the wireless access point. And now we can see the scale, it looks a little better. Red being great, right? That's the best signal you can get. Whereas dark blue being not as great. So I'm looking, I'm like, okay, just at a glance, women's restroom, you may have some issues. Uh, out in the lobby, uh, you know, we may have some challenges. And if I click on that, I'm like, okay, uh, it looks like the via, the via guest and via IOT, all of these is about a signal of negative 60 dB. And again, it's fine for most use, but if you're like, for instance, you're doing a Teams call or you're streaming some audio or something, you may get some glitches here and there. Analyzing this thing is gonna be a whole other, I, I mean, we, I could sit and talk with you and I would love to do it. For hours, going through the signal level, and, you can, and this is just one report, signal level, signal to noise ratio, signal, and, and you know, if we did the active scanning, it would actually show the speeds as well uh, that it gathered as we were going. Troubleshooting, you know, highlight the areas with low signal level, high, so, so all of these things, we can actually do a report on and troubleshoot. Again, super simple. So a big thank you to the folks over at NetSpot for giving me a license so I could show that to you. That is how you do a wireless survey using NetSpot. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.